good afternoon, friends. Just got home from work, running late. We had late dine-ins, some other issues. Anyway, it's super hot here again in Southern Ohio. And I thought, when it's warm like this, calls for a sandwich. Well, not just a normal sandwich. Let's do a Monte Cristo. Have you ever had that? Well, let's just say it's as if a meaty a grilled cheese meets French toast. Ooh la la, it's super simple. I'm gonna give you my version of how I wanna make it. So let's get started. So you're gonna have the sandwich for Brock and I. So I'm gonna do mayonnaise on one bun for each of us. Now there's different variations of this sandwich. So um, you could use meat and cheese that you would like. How about that? I don't think you always have to go with the flow. Change it up for your taste. If you don't like mayonnaise, then use just mustard or vice versa. Now I'm gonna go with a little bit of Dijon on the second piece of bread. How's your day going? I hope it's going well. I've had some issues with uh, my food ordering today with the pizza shop, so that has me a little aggravated. So hopefully they're getting fixed. If not, I may not have any food next week for the pizza shop. Okay, so we've got mayonnaise on one slice, Dijon on the other slice. Now let's build our sandwich. Now, ideally I would have liked to have some like fresh cut meat from the deli, but I didn't get off work till after nine last night. So I'm going with what I have. So you can use Swiss, provolone. I'm, I'm choosing provolone. So we're gonna do provolone on each slice of the bread like that. We go. Here's my sandwich. There's Brock sandwich. Now we're going to go in with the meats. So I've got ham. Now this is our this is our meal. So don't skimp on the meat because I'm not have well I'm gonna have some fruit and maybe some chips, but that's pretty much it. So I've got four slices of ham there, and then I'm going to do turkey on the other. Go. This is, this is really thin turkey, so I may put a little bit more on the, there. So there's one, two, three, four pieces of turkey there. Now maybe you like ham more than turkey and you could do, you know, it's your sandwich. Do what you want with it, kids. All right, there we go, got that. So we've got each slice of bread there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the two together. And then I have two beaten eggs, okay? We're gonna dip the sandwich in the egg mixture just like French toast. I've got butter going here in the stove, about two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna turn my heat up. I'm gonna move you over to the stove before I do this so it, I don't make a mess so you can see what I've got going on. What's going on? All right, wanna move you All over right, here? I've got you over here to the stove. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got our egg mixture right here. I've already done the one sandwich. You're just gonna take it just like French toast. I'm just gonna kind of press it in that egg mixture, flip it over, give it another press, make sure that bread good and eggy right into the skillet with the butter. Now we're gonna leave those a few minutes, just like French toast. You want your cheese to melt. You want your bread to get nice and toasty and that egg cooked. So I'm gonna give these a few minutes and then I will come back and show you. So we've done our first flip. We've got that nice collar. I've got it flipped over. Now I'm gonna put the lid on. Give it a chance for that cheese to melt and the meats to get hot. And we'll be right back. Alicia, look, I got my sign. Chris's chicken coop, farm fresh eggs daily. Thank you so much, it's so cute. That actually looks like uh, my chicken Carol right there. Thank you, appreciate it. All right. Sandwiches are out. Here they are. Now a traditional Monte Cristo calls for powdered sugar. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it. Just a pinch on top. Let's cut into them. I've got some fruit here, some uh, honeydew, some cantaloupe. I'm gonna have some chips. Cut into it there so you can see. It. There you go. My version of the Monte Cristo sandwich. Look at that. 
Now it says also to serve it with some um, raspberry jam, red raspberry jam. I don't know why, but we're gonna do that too. I guess I should have researched it a little bit more. Jake's very excited, he wants some. Let's scoop a little bit in this jam. Oh my goodness. I know JT. Friends. Absolutely delicious. Take your sandwich up a notch. Didn't have to heat up the house too much. Gonna have a great lunch here. Thanks for stopping by. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it looks fancy. It's delicious. All right, I'm gonna go. Jake's wanting attention and we'll have my lunch. Thanks for stopping by. Make you a Monte Cristo. Krista style. My friends.